Hi there, boys and girls. My name is Jerry Roberts, and I'm going to read you a story called Black Beauty. Now, open your book. The words say, Black Beauty, specially adapted for this book and record. When you hear this sound, you turn the page. Ready? Turn the page. And here we see a picture of a horse. The words say, this is my wonder book with a place to write your name. The sign says, Anna Sewell's Black Beauty, retold for little children by Marcia Martin, pictures by George Santos. But let's begin to read the story together. Here we go. Turn the page. Darky was a handsome horse. His shiny black coat was fine and soft. He had one white foot and a pretty white star on his forehead. Darky had lived on a big farm with many other horses ever since he was born. Now he was four years old and about to be sold to Squire Gordon, who lived nearby. Turn the page. As Squire Gordon rode Darky home, he could tell that the black horse had been well trained and Darkie could tell by the squire's gentle hand on the reins and the kind way he talked to him that his new master would treat him well. When they reached home, the squire's wife and two little girls, Jessie and Flora, were waiting for them. Oh, what a beautiful horse, they cried. Yes, agreed Squire Gordon. His name is Darkie, but he is such a handsome horse, I think he should have another name, don't you? How about Black Beauty, asked Mrs. Gordon. Black Beauty, said the squire slowly. Yes, that is a very good name for him. Turn the page. Black Beauty was happy at Squire Gordon's. There were several other horses, but he soon became the favorite. Not only did the squire like him best, but the two little girls loved the gentle horse. They often came to pet him and to take rides on him. Late one night, Squire Gordon hurried into the stable. I'm sorry to disturb you at this hour, Joe, the squire said to Joe Green, the boy who took care of the horse, but Mrs. Gordon is very ill, and I must ride for the doctor. Turn the page. Quickly, Joe saddled Black Beauty, and Squire Gordon galloped away. Black Beauty knew that something was wrong, and that his master was in a great hurry. The horse ran as fast as he could. When Squire Gordon reached the doctor's house, it was three in the morning, rapped loudly at the door. Will you please come at once, Squire Gordon begged the doctor. My wife is very ill. Of course I will come, replied the doctor. But my horse has gone lame. May I ride yours? Black Beauty is very tired, the squire said. We galloped all the way over, but I am sure he will get you there. Take him and I will walk. The doctor dressed quickly, climbed up on Black Beauty, and away they went. The doctor was much heavier than Squire Gordon and not nearly so good a rider. But Black Beauty, even though he was almost exhausted, ran as fast as he could. It was beginning to grow light when they arrived home, and the doctor went to the house. Turn the page. Little Joe Green led Black Beauty back to the stable. The horse's body was soaking wet, and he could hardly stand. Joe rubbed Beauty's legs and chest and gave him some water to drink. But Joe did not know that he should have covered him with warm blankets and given him hot food instead of water. Joe loved horses, but this was his first job, and he had much to learn. Soon Black Beauty began to shake and tremble, and he felt terribly cold. He lay in his stall, shivering for what seemed like a long, long time. Finally, Squire Gordon arrived home. He was very tired after his long walk, but he saw immediately what had happened. He covered Black Beauty with warm blankets, gave him a little hot water to drink, and called the horse doctor. Turn the page. 
Black Beauty was very sick. Poor Joe Green came every day to see him and to tell him how sorry he was. Squire Gordon and the horse doctor nursed Beauty, and at last he began to get better. One day, when Black Beauty was well again, Squire Gordon and Joe came to see him. I will certainly be sorry to lose this horse, Squire Gordon said to Joe. You know he saved Mrs. Gordon's life when she was so ill. Now she is better, but the doctor says we must move to a warmer place. What will happen to your house, asked Joe. We shall close it, the squire answered. We shall have to sell the horses. A friend of mine needs a stable boy, Joe. Would you work for him? Joe nodded and walked out of the stable sadly with his master. Turn the page. Not long after this, the squire, Mrs. Gordon, and the two little girls came down to the field to say goodbye. We will never forget you, Black Beauty, whispered the squire's wife. The horse lowered his head, and the two children patted him gently for the last time. After he left the Gordons, Black Beauty had many masters. Finally, he was bought by a man who used him to pull a cab. The cab carried people and their heavy bags and trunks from the railroad station to their homes. Beauty was outside in all kinds of weather. Even when it was freezing cold or snowing hard, he had to pull the cab over the slippery streets. And though he was often tired and hungry, he always did his best. Turn the page. But finally, he became too weak to work at all, and his master took him to a horse sale to be sold. Many people looked at Black Beauty, but no one wanted to buy a horse that looked so old and tired and thin. At last, a tall man with a mustache saw him. The man looked at him carefully. I once knew a horse that looked like him. What is his name, the man asked. Black Beauty is his name, answered the owner, and I will sell him cheap because he's too old to work any longer. I knew he must be Black Beauty, the man exclaimed. Oh, Beauty, don't you remember me? Turn the page. I'm Joe Green, the stable boy who made you so ill many years ago. Beauty didn't recognize him because Joe was a grown man now, but the horse was very glad to find a friend. Joe bought him from the cab driver and led Beauty to his new home. When they reached the house, two women came down the steps and looked at the black horse. Why, it's Black Beauty, they cried as they flung their arms about the horse's neck. Do you remember us, Beauty? asked Miss Flora. You're back at Squire Gordon's, and we're the same little girls, grown up now, who used to take rides on you many years ago. Turn the page. I've never forgotten you, Beauty, said Joe, and you taught me a lesson I've never forgotten either. None of us ever forgot you, Beauty, agreed Miss Jessie, and we'll never, never sell you again. Black Beauty was with his old friends once more and would never have to leave again the fields he loved so much. Black Beauty, what a beautiful horse. Turn the page. The sign says, Black Beauty. Oh, <laughs>